Hello dear friends, in trick number 212, today I am going to tell you how the congruent triangles and the similar triangles, they differ with each other. See, normally this congruence is taught at school level from class 8 onwards and when the students come in class 10th, then they learn the concept of similarity. Now these two concepts are often confused by the students because there are similar rules of congruency and the same rules are used in similarity also. So this video will be helpful in understanding the difference between these two important concepts of geometry. Now see we will be categorizing the differences between these two types of triangles on the basis of their shape, the size, the symbol used to represent them, the rules, the results are that is after we prove congruent and similar what results are derived on the basis of the sides and what results are derived on the basis of the angles. Now see when we talk of the shape of the triangle, whether it is congruent triangle or the similar triangle, the shape is same. So this is a point of agreement between these two types of triangles. Now shape is same but when you see the size, the congruent triangles have the same size but here in case of similar triangles, they have different sizes. See, if I draw a right angle triangle having a particular measurements, then exactly same right triangle will produce a pair of congruent triangles that is their shape is also same and their size is also same. So if we keep one right triangle over the other then they will exactly overlap each other. So this is the concept of congruent triangles. They are congruent. Now when we talk of similar triangles, if we have a right angle triangle of a particular measurement, then we can have a larger right angle triangle. Now see their shape is same because both of them are right angle triangles but their sizes are different. So in this case we can call them similar. They are similar in looks if we look at them both of them are having the same shape but they are having different sizes so you can think of similar figures by visualizing a photostat copy of a document if you take out the photo copy exactly in the original form then the two documents will be congruent but if you reduce or enlarge the photocopy then the two documents the original and the photocopy will be something like this one will be smaller and one will be larger but exactly same shape will be there in both the cases so this is the concept of similar figures so similar figures we can have similar figures in case of circles also in case of trapeziums also we can have similar figures in case of rhombus rectangle square any figure can be similar but the concept of similarity is basically taught in case of triangles. Now see the symbol, the representation of congruence. Now when we represent congruence we put a equal to sign and then we put a similarity sign. Now this is the symbol for congruence but in similarity we just put the similar sign that is the wave but equal to sign is non-existent in case of similarity. So if we write triangle ABC is congruent then congruent symbol will be like this triangle DEF but if you write similarity then triangle ABC will be similar to triangle DEF. So this is a representation of congruence and similarity. Now come to the rules through which we can prove two triangles as congruent or two triangles as similar. Now, 
basic rules for proving two triangles as congruent see we have three sides and three angles so three sides and three angles out of that we need to have three equalities so if three things are equal then the triangles may be congruent what are those three things now see it can be all the three sides means all three sides of one triangle are equal to all three sides of the other then the two triangles are congruent in case of right angle triangle we have right angle hypotenuse and side rhs then we can have two sides and included angle two sides say two sides and included angle means the angle between the two equal two sides which are equal to the two sides of the other triangle that is sas then we can have two angles also and the included side can be s here or it can be outside also so when we have two angles the side can be between those two angles or outside so these are the five basic rules through which we prove two triangles as congruent but in case of similarity the rules are very restricted and in 90% of the problems we use make use of the aa rule now aa rule or the triple a rule both are same because obviously if two angles are equal then third angle is bound to be equal so we write aa rule of similarity then we can have sas rule of similarity also for similarity either we should have all the angles or we should have at least two sides and do uh, at least two sides means two sides and the included angle because here here see in all five rules we have only two sides here in one case only sas rule so sas rule of similarity also exists then we can have three sides that is ss s now how do we apply this now see since in congruency we have the figures which are exactly alike then the sides are equal so here the sides are equal here the sides are proportional that is the ratio of the corresponding sides is same now we will study that further when we talk of results on sides so see if i take these two triangles suppose in congruent triangles now here i have abc and def now see results on sides now suppose these two triangles are congruent now once we have two congruent triangles then we can equate the corresponding sides see ab will be equal to corresponding to ab we have de here so de corresponding to bc we have ef here so bc will be equal to ef and finally corresponding to ac we have df here so ac will be equal to df so the corresponding sides of the two figures are equal sides are equal whereas in case of similarity see here a b c and def now take the ratio see ab corresponding to ab we have de here so we will take the ratio of ab and de similarly we have the uh, second side bc here and corresponding to bc we can take the side ef so we have to take the ratio of these two and the third one the side ac and for the side ac the corresponding side there is df so we have to take df here so these three ratios of the corresponding sides of two similar triangles will be equal so when the ratios are equal we call that the sides are proportional this is the relationship between sides now the results on angles now results on angles angles are always equal they cannot be proportional now here in both cases angle a will be equal to angle d whether it is congruent or whether it is similar so angle a will be equal to angle d similarly angle b equal to angle e and angle c will be equal to angle f both cases angle c equal to angle f so in both the cases the corresponding angles are always equal so the difference lies 
here the corresponding sides are equal here in congruence and corresponding sides are proportional in similarity.